Get ready for Jason Powell and Chris Avila, 21 years of age, both slight height advantage for Powell, 145 pounders. Avila has the three inch reach advantage. Featherweights getting ready to do action. Here's Jazz with the introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is scheduled for three rounds in the World Series of Fighting Featherweight Division. Introducing on my right, fighting out of the blue corner, his record, two victories, one defeat, standing five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing 146 pounds. He fights out of Lodi, California, by way of Stockton, California. He makes his World Series of Fighting debut. Introducing Chris Avila. And now his opponent across the Decagon, fighting out of the red corner. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall. He also weighs 146 pounds, fighting out of El Dorado Hills, California, by way of Paradise, California. He also makes his debut in the Decagon, presenting Jason the Gentleman Powell. Your referee is David Shirley. Here we go, okay. scheduled for three yeah. five minute rounds. Yep. 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 Michelle Shock, you ready? Fighter ready? Rico, go. Fighter ready? Let's go. Follow the push right away. Looks a little bit like a uh, Scottish Fred, uh, an Irish, I mean, Conor McGregor. <laughs> <laughs> South Paul throwing out a nice right kick. Big left kicks up. Blum. Like <laughs> Although it wasn't big. That's a little bigger. Still, he stopped the midair. Pushes hips through in order to do some damage with those kicks. If you don't do damage, if you just throw them up, then your opponent can counter those. Long legs and he's using it, using them well. And another nice kick. Yeah, but you know, he stands all the way in one line. We have to do some real damage. It, it, for him, for a southpaw, I always say, oh, that was nice. Go for the back leg. Nobody trains the back leg for impact. That looked like he was trying for that back leg, but he almost uh, hit south by the quarter there. Oh, and there we go. There he shoots in, pushes the action along the fence. We'll attack right away with some a nice unique in midsection. Flips out another kick. He's using that like his jab so far is Powell. If it was a villa, I would just move to the left the whole time. No, he doesn't. It's, he flips him out there, but it's almost more that he you know, wants to annoy his opponent. That is a very dangerous thing to throw. I would, I would counter it. That was, uh, oh, oh, that was a nice one. His yeah, best right. kick so far. Best kick, but you see, he, it's almost like he just stopped in front of the head. He pushes a little bit more through. And he puts his body weight in there. At least his leg weight. That could be just enough. And Avila said enough. He's trying to get it to the ground. Working hard here against the fence. Powell doing a nice job dancing around that. Right in his 
Yeah, both hips are very close guys. together. That means you can't really deliver any power with your knees. You know, you can't load them up. You're too close. <laughs> Move your hips away from your opponent. And then Come in there with a the big knee. Good refereeing here. Get it back out to the center. Yeah. There was no action going on of note. Of note. That's the deal. That's the key word there. I think it's his stance. He almost doesn't uh, turn his right foot when he kicks high with the left. Again, fires out that right kick. Another left kick. <coughs> Just misses with the high kick there, but there's a punch. He should throw more. He's got a nice left straight punch. As we talked about earlier, he's using the kicks like a jab, but there's no follow-up to them. No, and there's no significant power in there. That's why if you start setting it up with strikes, using that left hand, I would use that way more. And there's a takedown slam by Jason Powell. Final seconds of round one. That was very well timed. Beautiful take down. Seconds ticking away. It's been a good start for Jason Powell. We'll see how Avila comes back after that first round. It's Jason Powell. We saw some kicks, a couple of really nice ones in this first round, boss. He did, you know, and it came, you see, see you, you see what I mean, that he doesn't pull it through? And so it was almost a stop on the defense. So this was really well-timed. He waited for his opponent to throw that left, and he shot underneath. That was in the final seconds of round one. Get ready for round two. This one's scheduled for three. There you see Jason Powell. There is Chris Avila, two and one. Powell, one and one coming in. And Powell at 21 years age, delighting everyone in our truck, as well as us, boss, by coming out to the Holly's Lone Cool Woman. He wasn't even born or thought about when that song came out. <laughs> it's pretty impressive, a guy walk out to a 1971 rocket. It's a great song. The thing now is, what about Avila here in this second round? Very little striking, mostly trying to guard against kicks like that in the first. Yeah. And now, now though, Powell, that, that, that's right. Oh, oh, a good one by Avila. Nice there he has job. an answer, and a nice knee to follow up with that. Chris Avila saw his opening finally here at the start of this second round and delivered. Yeah, and I was talking about Powell's first kick with the right, you know, in the south pole position. That was actually a decent kick to the leg. Fighters should use those knees to the thighs more, but you know, if you can do it, why not push your hips away, create some more space so he can really do it. Now you hit him with 25% of your power. If you do it with 100% of your power, yeah, two or three, it's over. Where can progress? I'm going to separate you two. Oh, oh, look at that look at right. That. And then he follows up with the knee. Oh, that just slid up to the side. If that would have been a full hit, it could have been great. That's one of the things, if you don't show any high kicks in the first round, your opponent's not going to expect it. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. Plum out of nothing. Now he starts getting a little bit like the Diaz brothers. See with the hands? Yeah. That's playing around, Avila. Think he sees that in the gym very much? I think he does. If Nick and Nate are watching, they know what we're talking about. Yeah, they go. What, what, what? Yeah. Yep. That hook just grazing the top of Avila's head.
Great punches to the midsection. Both these fighters can do that to each other. Once one fighter is in southpaw position, the orthodox guy right straight to the body, and his opponent on the left, of course. Followed up with the left hook to the head. Maybe a low kick at the end, and we got yourself a combination. Rata kick. Crack on that kick from Jason Powell. And Powell goes for the takedown again. Avila, not this time. Avila stops another one. He's going to feel comfortable. And he's going to open up a little bit more, just like he did in the opening of the round. Powell with a rare combination, pushing the action forward. And now back to a kick. using his left straight now. That's a good straight punch. Straight hook, hook straight. Right up with that left straight. And you make the combinations. There he's going for it. What about a cross hook cross? Yourself, if you keep with the food on the shin, you don't want to do that. Guess what's going to win? Yeah, exactly. We saw a burst of energy from Avila early in this round. A kick followed by a knee that just missed from doing a lot of damage. That's been his best performance for about 20 seconds there. And now back to the ground, take down by Powell. A nice, beautiful double leg. Two solid takedowns in this fight for Powell. Knee the thighs again from this position. People at home can't see that. Is it just with the left flop on that knee, on that thigh. Final seconds. Round two scheduled for three between these 145 pounders, Davila and Powell. And both Palyaris and Glenn facing big challenges tonight to keep their belt. We'll start things off. Gonzalez and Buckholz, Hansen, Berkovich. Then Marias, a lot of talk about this young fighter against Solario leading up to our first title. Tonight, Glenn defending his belt against Lance Palmer. Polyaris taking on the veteran John Fitch in the welterweight title. That all starts at 9 Eastern, 6 Pacific on NBCSN. Interesting of many interesting scenarios in all these cards tonight, all this fight card tonight. But with Fitch, you know, he was, when he came over from the UFC after he was released, and people were surprised by that, it was almost a given that he would already be the welterweight champ, many mm -hmm. thought, in the World Series of Fighting. Yep. But then George Bergman was there. Yes, a surprise right off the bat for him. Now he gets another shot here. As we go into this third and final round, Jason Powell in the shorter black trunks against Lu uh, against Chris Avila. Avila two and one, Powell one and one. And between rounds, we listened in to Powell's corner. Outside of this, okay, keep going to your right. Nice movement, just keep your movement up. Remember, keep your hands up. Everything looks great. You're up two nothing, okay? You're up two rounds and none. Stay nice and safe, stay nice and tight. Stay technical, stay on the outside of his legs, okay? Keep going, inside, outside, two, three combinations, okay? You got this. Jim West with, uh, it seems like, good advice for Powell, and yep. I think he's right that he's up 2-0 right now in this, in this fight. Yeah, I know he is. He, uh, he should. Although that net, nice high kick, but then afterwards he totally took control again of the fight. That was a nice kick there to the body. Again, if you set that up with some strikes, that would be so good. He also connected there with the left, uh, with the right high kick. Um, but since his hips are almost in one line, you can't really put the angle in there. You can't really hit the head in a 90 degree angle. So it kind of slid off 
And that's why it didn't have that impact as it normally would have. And this just his third pro fight with the kicking ability that he has and the brain he has at 145 pounds, you figure there's a lot of upside here to Jason Powell. It, it is, you know, and he's using his reach well. I would love him to see the, use the crosser more, you know, maybe do a cross who cross and then a kick, you know, and his opponent should go back to that kick as well because it was there. He might surprise him again with it, but again, set it up, set it up with strikes. And Avila did that with a kick and then a knee early in the second round. But we haven't seen Powell really follow up with some good kicks. He hasn't had a punch to go with that. And he's had some good punches. They just didn't follow up the kicks. That's it. You know, once you stop mixing. And, and for him, it's okay because he's winning the fight. He's winning the fight. He's got these great takedowns like this one again. Takedown now in every round for Jason Powell. Cross face your opponent. No hands on the mat, peel off and pause. Jason, and then just I want his head push to yourself the away, break right that grip, create some space in between you and the opponent so you get space to strike. Jason, and then start unloading. Jason, Pretty much the only thing you can do is punch him in the gut because these sponges are not going to stop the fight. I gotta say though, although they're short, they still have some power on them. They're sitting right here in front of them, right in front of us, and you can tell there's still some power on those shots. Putting it right on the short part of the ribs. Yep, you can only imagine if you push yourself away, right? And load them up. The damage you can do then. Square them up, Jay. Jason, you got men on the fight. With under two minutes to go in this fight. And Chris Avila is not in a position right now. To get back into it unless he can do something here as they stand up along the fence once again. That was a great move here by Avila. Great escape. Pushed him away with his feet. And right away he skipped his hips up. And he's back on his feet. But he has to start working. And then Powell will force the action right back. Going again and gets it back on the ground. So Powell taking control, keeping control, and the dealer's time is running out here with a minute 10 to go in this fight. This I like, what Powell is doing right now with the knees. You see, now he's loading them up all the way. There we go. I would say if you do it, might as well go 100% for it. I always think that th this comes because of the sparring. Some guys spar and then you don't want to go through, but you really have to do this on the back, as hard as you can. We do whole drills with this, whole rounds and drills and drills and drills. And then uh, the fighter of mine was 200 pounds, fought a 400 pound guy. He said, what am I gonna do? I said, you close the distance, go underneath the armpit, bear hug him from the back, start raining down knees to the thighs, as hard as you can. Five knees, guy drop, you jump mount, Beat him up, won the fight. Final seconds of this one. And it's been a nice showing for Jason Powell here, and this is his third pro fight. Had some good early kicks, had a takedown in every round, and set the tempo throughout. That's nice. Nice. You talked about the knees before. You know, it's, I, you know, okay, now it, it looks like, oh, Paul, he really loves himself. Look at my pancreas fights. If I give one knee most of the time, fight's over. And the reason why it is, because I pick the moment and I throw it as hard as I can. And whether it's to the body or to the head, well, to the head, <laughs> it's magic you're gonna go down, but to the body also. If you can time somebody breathing in, you know, especially when they're tired and their breathing pattern is really fast, you know, it's hard for them to flex at the moment of impact. And you can literally do it with one knee. Like these knees here, if you load those up as hard as you can, I guarantee you, after two, this guy's gonna freak out, he's gonna run away from you. Because it's harder than a low kick. You can't flex, you don't see them coming. You're not ready for the impact. It's the ultimate Charlie horse. That's why a Charlie horse just works with your knuckles if you do that from the back with somebody because the muscle is relaxed. If you Charlie horse somebody say, here, it's coming, and I flex, well, you can hit as hard as you can. I'm not gonna go down. 
Now imagine that fist being a knee or a shin bone on a relaxed muscle. That's all I'm saying. And Avila coming in here two and one. He looked really good there for about 15 seconds at the start of the second round, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Just fired out. Came out of the gate, boom, suddenly there was a high kick, and he got it. But uh, Powell was too tough. He could take a punch too, right away to close the distance also. Very smart. Look at this kid here. <laughs> I can beat him. That could be the future champ right there. Yeah, right there. look at this. <laughs> I don't know, that was a combination. Oh, that see? looked pretty good. That looked pretty good. All right, the judges have made their decision. Jazz will read the verdict. Ladies and gentlemen, all three judges, Wade Fierro, Brandon Saucedo, and Brant Felipe, score this fight 30 to 27. Your winner, Jason the Gentleman! As expected, Jason Powell takes it by unanimous decision. He goes to two and one in his career, and now at two and two, Chris Avila. Strike first, that's when they gon' come at you. Yeah. And you know it's true. Don't let your life get worse. Being timid, that ain't cool. Nah. No.